So using the same beam as the previous question, we're asked what is the magnitude of the maximum deflection in the beam? So we know that this was a simply supported beam. Um, all that means is that we have a support on either end, as we saw before. And we know that we have our um, load applied directly in the center. So what we need to do is go and look up this situation in the table um, for deflection of simply supported beams. So this is it here. So what we can do is probably just use this first one. All right. Um, you can see here that it's got L on 2 on either side, which tells us that the load is directly in the center. Um, and from this, we're already given what the maximum deflection is um, for that beam. The alternative, you could use this second one here if you wanted to as well. This is a more generic case where that P could be um, shifted toward one end or the other a bit more. Um, but yeah, it's not really necessary since yeah, this is our perfect case. So let's take this out. So the maximum deflection can be described with this equation. So P is the force that's applied in the center. So we have a force of 14 kilonewtons. Um, L is L on 2, either side here. So our L was 6 meters, the length of the beam. Um, e is the Young's modulus, so we were given that. It's 200 gigapascals. And the other thing we needed was I, a second moment of area. And from the previous question, this is what we calculated it as. So go back and review that question if you want to know where it came from. So all that we need to do is substitute these things into our equation. And I'm going to convert everything into base units. So this is 14,000. Length is already in base units, so 6 to the power of 3. 48 is just a number. E, we've got 200 GPA. So we need to multiply by 10 to the 9 to put it in base units of pascals. And I have already got in base units as well. So if you put all this into a calculator, it comes out as negative 0 0.0189. And since everything was in base units, I'm going to get out the base unit for deflection, which is meters. And if we scroll back to our answers, so these are all in millimeters. So if we wanted to convert it, we need to multiply this by 1,000. And that would leave us with, oops, sorry, um, 1, 2, 3, 18.9 millimeters, and I'll keep the negative here. So all this negative is telling us is basically our beam is going to deflect downwards, okay, which is probably what you'd expect when you put a force on here. And we were asked for the magnitude, which is just the positive. So if we got 18.9 millimeters as our deflection, if we look back at our answers, one of them is 19, so that's going to be the answer we need for the question.